Sarah here from smallbusinesssarah.com and today I'm going to show you what you need to do to transition from your old method of Etsy bookkeeping if you're if you were using my old Etsy bank method to the new sync with Etsy integration so since sync with Etsy came out in February ish time of 2021 many of us had already done our January bookkeeping so there are a few adjustments we need to make if we chose to do sync with Etsy as of 1121, which is true in this scenario that I'm going to show you right now. So the first thing we need to do is we need to recategorize all of those transactions, all of those deposits, I should say, that came from Etsy that we had previously categorized since the beginning of the year to our old Etsy bank account because Sync with Etsy gave us a new Etsy bank account. So we're going to go to the Categorize tab here, and any old deposits that went to the old Etsy bank account for 2021, we're going to undo those. I've actually undone most of the transactions, so I'm just going to undo the one that I need right here. Okay, now... We're going to head over to the for review tab again and all of these Etsy deposits now I need to go to the new Etsy bank account so I'm going to hit update these are deposits they are from Etsy Etsy sales and refunds that's a, a customer that was brought in by sync with Etsy and they are going to go to our new sync with Etsy Etsy bank account right here, apply and accept. Now we need to delete our January journal entry that we have already done. So we're gonna go to the bank register. We're gonna go to our old Etsy bank account. Okay, so we're in our old Etsy bank register right now, and we're gonna verify we don't see any deposits in 2021 that are still remaining as categorized to this Etsy bank account and I don't see any of those so that's good we took care of that uh, just moments before now we're going to delete our January journal entry just select and delete so that's done and now we have a ending balance in this Etsy bank account that we need to transfer to our new Etsy bank account so we're gonna hit new Transfer. We're transferring from our old Etsy bank to our new Etsy bank. Our date is 1 1 of the year of 21. And that amount was that balance we just saw on our Etsy bank register on the previous screen. Maybe I should have pointed that out a bit better. But that was our ending balance in Etsy bank as of 12 31. So we're going to hit save and close. If we refresh this page, we'll see that our old Etsy bank account is now going to have a zero balance. Zero balance, and that is what we want. And if we go to our new Etsy bank register, we're going to see that everything looks to be in good shape. And so that's all there is to it. Simply recategorize those deposits since the beginning of the year delete that journal entry, and do the transfer. Those are the three things you need to do if you have a duplicate time period when you were using the old Etsy bank method and then you did sync with Etsy as of the beginning of the year and you have that duplication. I hope this was helpful and best of luck with your Etsy shop bookkeeping.